Let's hear it, fellas. What do you make of all this? Refuting the accusation. We were the only two people up on that roof deck, dead or alive. I can swear to that. If anything had happened while we were sitting, don't you think one or the other would have noticed? Uh, in any case, either of us know the first thing about the victim. We had no reason to kill that there man. The skylight was shut the entire time, I tell you. Who could have possibly have opened it? Right. You're so sure the victim fell through the skylight. Where's your old proof, sir? I'll get to that in a second. Now seems like a good time to actually go in the omnibus again. I must say that on listening to the testimony, it's somewhat hard to imagine. You know, get up there now. How either witness could have performed a malevolent act on the rooftop deck without the other noticing forthwith. But maybe they're in cahoots. I, th that's right, you see. We're innocent, I tell you. Absolutely. Although logically, of course, the argument falls in the two, you are in collusion with one another. Uh, oh, no, 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 hold on, Ms. Lott, now hold on. Uh, I... According to the investigation by Scotland Yard, the two witnesses share no common dealings. That we know of. Ha! Well, I don't trust coppers any more than I can trust the stinking rich. Or the poor. Or you! Or you! Or you! We get it, you're paranoid. Something doesn't feel right here. I... Trial's going in our favor, really? So why do I feel uneasy? I... Mm, I'm truly... This has been one of the hardest trials. I mean, I'm. we're, we're getting by, but it's because they throw no curveballs at us. But I can't figure out the... You know, the twist. That, that jam, that butter. It can't just be... Like, that two guys decided to kill a random dude for no reason and pin it on the gilded? Unless first also has some debt, but if there's no correlation... Counsel for the defense, over to you. No, really, over. Like, oh, oh yes, over, sir. I, I will go. What the heck? I'm... Is there anything that's fishy? Only two up on that deck, dead or alive, I can swear to that. If anything happened there, we're sitting, don't you think one of those would have noticed? No, because you're, you're working together. Or maybe you were unable to notice it. In any case, neither of us knew the first thing about the victim. We had no reason to kill the man. That's not true. Hold up. Neither of us know. You definitely have a reason to kill this guy. Objection. Or at least Mason. The witness less statement is clearly at odds with the evidence. Oh, it's not. Dump. Uh, I jumped the gun. He, he mentioned the guy that was murdered. Not, but you had a reason to frame him. Oh, for heaven's sake, would just calmly desist from the wide-eyed, panic-stricken look you god dang do all episode? I'm sorry. I'm really into character. Crap. Okay. Let's just chill. Take it one step at a time. Freaking back to you, Mr. Fair. In any case, neither of us know the first thing about the victim. We had no reason to kill the man. I... Hey, at least you do, though. Maybe you have something against him? Outside of the... So you had never met... Thrice fired Mason before. Oh, uh, Lawman, no, not once, never. Uh, he never met that man before, he said. Never. Oh, so defensive of your. This guy you just met all of a sudden. And you, Mr. First? You had no prior dealings with the victim either. Maybe your shop was close to his? That's right, sir. I mean, wait a minute. No, no, it wasn't. Hatters don't have much to do with brickmakers. To be perfectly honest, sir. No, I imagine not. I... You see, how many different ways can I put this, fella? Neither of us have the. Whoa, whoa. No. Hmm? Neither of us has the remotest connection to the gentleman who was inside that cab on. Fa me. What, 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 what's going on? Huh? Mr. McGilded? Oh, yes, Consul. What can I do for you? Did the witness's last statement give you pause for thought somehow? Hmm, not the remotest connection. Oh. Is that right now? I wonder. Oh, what, what, what are you insinuating, sir? Sir! Ah, oh, Mr. Fairplay. It's been too long, so it has. Uh, I beg your pardon? If I'm not very much mistaken, I believe tis fast approaching, is it not? Your repayment date. Uh, 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 
<laughs> I, I beg your pardon, sir? <laughs> you borrowed 20 guineas from me, sir. Oh, I had a, a unconceivably uncon rate of interest, I did. You tricked me. It's, it's extortion is what it is. No. Now, now, come be. It is that a touch of begrudgery, is it? Oh, the sort of begrudgery that might motivate a fella to pass his crime off on another. Oh, oh God. I don't like this. McGilded, what are you doing? Cut it out. I'm young, Mr. Farce. Oh, me? Please don't kill me. B what do you want with me? Don't put a hex on me. You do be making hats for a living, don't you, Sonny? Not their top hat sliding on your head. Is that one of your own creations, is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want a hat from him. Uh, well, I'm just an apprentice, you understand. I'm learning to find the perfect fit for whatever fine gent walks through the door. Mmm, <laughs> perfect fit, is it? Well, it is a very, uh, distinctive design, so it is. Uh, where is he going with this? Many customers like it, I tell you. They're, they like a distinctive touch. C customers that I totally have. Customers such as a uh, certain thrice fired mason. Uh, oh, how did you know? There was a photographic print of the victim submitted as evidence for my lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, he's got a hat. You mean this? Puts it in her face. Oh, my God, the hats are... The hats are kind of similar. Not really. I'm just saying they look kind of similar because they're obviously drawn by the same art team, but... I can't help thinking that the poor fella's hat looks a little similar, wouldn't you say? Well, it's not a bucket on his head, I guess, but... Eh, not terribly similar. It's got that monochrome thing, and then it's patched at the top. But that's like every hat ever. Um... I plead the fifth? Oh, no, I can't do that yet! Ah! Oh, that's... That's one of my hats! Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, that it is! So it would seem the Brick Maester was a customer of yours. You're joking. Dude. I'm sorry, that's a crazy coincidence. I'm not even, oh. I don't know. I don't even know what to think. That sort of customer I'd wager. You could have had a weak quarrel with over the distinctness of the goods. Oh, no sir, absolutely not sir. That never happened. I would never argue. Well, there's really nothing more to add. I wouldn't be right to say that the two fellas here haven't the remotest connection to the victim, you see. <laughs> he did it. He did it. I'm so sure now. Look at this man. I rest my case. You ain't even a lawyer, huh, sir? You little weasel liar! He's better at this than I am. Well, I mean... If he rigged the case in his favor, that does give him a sizable advantage. Gosh, Mr. McGilded has a certain been through in his research, thorough in his research, hasn't he? Yeah, to a suspicious degree. I bet he put this. I bet he. I bet he told Gina to fire that blast. I, I guarantee, or the smoke. I guarantee it. What? What you got else up your sleeve, you freaking leprechaun? Please don't let my little interruption hold up the proceedings. Go, go, be my guest. Uh, the skylight's been shut the entire time, I tell you. Who could have possibly have opened it? it? Is that true? Why don't we try now? now? Please! Are you quite certain about that? That the skylight was shut the entire time? I'm gonna lose my block with you in a minute here, son. Get, get up! Once you get in my cane range, oh, well, he won't be so smart. He's gonna lose his rag with you in a minute. That's what he said. No. Take a look at yourself. Go on. Go Finally, we can do it. You see, it's so fast. Now. Who would, I mean, it can't change, can it? Wait, look at that. It has a latch. It's plain as day. It can be opened, and it could have been opened that other night. Just like it was on that night. It never opened before. So it is all. A fellow the size of Mr. Mason could likely break right through it, still and all. Uh, 
A what? Huh? Ah, oh, you see, just I'm looking at the side of that thing, you understand it? Oh, now you hold on there, Minnesota. The, the, the size of the thing means nothing. Not on its own. Now, let's consider the bigger picture here, so. Stop biting your ca- Oh my god, this is chaos! Um, can I talk now? Anyway, one day I saw a squirrel. It was so cute, I went to pet it. It bit me on the testicle. I was riding the omnibus the other occasion to get my mind off things. And, well, I broke wind. Loudly! <laughs> what? <laughs> if you're wondering, is this one of Johnny's ad libs? No, it's in the game! I shocked myself with it as it happened. You tell me you, you fought it so loud you scared yourself? I, that That is an unexpected confession, my sir. I, oh, I, I, ju I just mean to say, well, the point is, I I, I tried, tried to open the skylight, you see. <laughs> I'm just still thinking, like, how the frick would a squirrel get to your testy? And then you fart? Boy, if you don't... Just my luck. No, oh, I couldn't make it budge. The stench was horrible! Everyone was looking daggers at me, sir. I went as red as a rogue, I did. A rogue, you say, uh... Are you expecting me to sentence you for excessive gas release? Oh, uh, no, sir! The point is, the skylight can't be open! I tried it and tried and tried. When I was inside the... When I was inside the cabin... What did you even say? I could watch her, like, dude, play with that coin all day. God, the animation is so fluid. Goodness. Me. Gina, what do you got to say about that? Did you intentionally break it for the lulls? Answer me, you drug smoky child. Do you have something to say about this, Miss Lestrade? Miss <laughs> Lestrade! It happens. Excuse me, it happens? Or it happens! The skylight. That is what you're talking about, right? Yes, stop, stop it, put that down! So, someone, uh, get her! She's reloading! We're being a baby, it's just a god dang smoke machine, who cares? All them skylights open. Dead easy. More easily they can load that weapon? Like, the, that's a lie, I tell you! Otherwise, when I farted in excess, I would've... You can't do it from inside, you mog. Oh, oh. Well, how about that? <laughs> she knows her stuff. Look, a few weeks ago, I was up on the roof deck, one of them old drags. I assume that means an omnibus. I'm, uh... And I'd great all. I mean, odd purse is coming up me ears. You just said that in court, Miss Lestrade. That this is not the form to... Uh, uh, allergies and the uh, subject to your criminal activities. What is up with little kids and bragging? Oh. Well, anyway, I had a bit of scare when I lifted the last bloke's purse and got my eyes to me. And all four of them surrounded me, so I couldn't off the bus and leg it. <laughs> so what I did was I used the skylight, opened the catch, and jumped right through. That's actually really impressive. You figured that out. God, you're crafty. Yeah, I is. The catch of them skylights is the top side. That's why you can't open them from the cabin. Right, the latch. From the roof, you can't open it from the roof deck. Or no, wait, what? Now get up there, climb up on the roof of the omnibus once and verify the witness's claims. Okay, I. it's hard to decipher. <laughs> the British, but yeah, you can totally open it from up there. Uh, oh, oh my hat! That totally it belongs to me, and I didn't just steal it. Actually, everybody has a hat here. Feel kind of out of place. See? I might be a petty thief, I ain't no feather. True, true. <laughs> this is so... Oh my god! Do it again! I want to see it! Huh? Uh? Huh? Uh? Huh? Uh. Wow. That knowledge is crazy. Can I get down from the omnibus? No, do it again! No, we're hold Ah. My god. Thank goodness we have that done there, a d industrial revolution. Uh, it appears that this uh, street girl statement's quite true. I don't believe it. The skylight opens. <laughs> Somehow my 14 openings of it. <laughs> yeah, and it's consistent too, wow! 
it opens from the roof deck. Mr. Naruto. This could be the clue we've been looking for. Yeah, no kidding. We finally got the twist. Can't believe it. Thank you, Lestrade. Well, counsel, for the defense, please continue with that cross-examination. I, I didn't, I thought it was done. So the cross light, the, the skylight opens. So I should investigate for myself. I would like that. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just check this out real quick, real quick. So if it does, in fact, open, this changes the whole, like, thing. So this is the roof deck of the Omnibus. Oh, you must have a wonderful view of London streets from here. So people sit all the way up here on a bitter winter nights with the cold air rushing past them? Not for me. Although I do really miss, like, cold weather. Uh, it's like 85 year-round here. What do I do? I can't go outside. Ugh. And they have to pay money to do so? Ugh. I can't imagine how cold it must feel. That just made me think of something horrible. Can you imagine being dragged around the city in the freezing cold as punishment? Why did your mind go there, Naruhodo? What do you think they're going to do to McGillivid? Perhaps that is the real price you pay to stay out late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not important, but... If... I mean, you know, the flavor text... Wait, Phoenix Ride Omnibus! What the frick? Uh, okay. <laughs> I wonder in Japanese, does that say something different? Because I'm pretty sure Phoenix's name in Japan is actually Naruhodo. I could be wrong about that, but I'll be on that wiki, baby. You know how it is. Okay, the latch. It's shut now. But now the catch has been undone. We should be able to open it. There we go. All right. So once we uh, kind of... So this is the odd part. Where that blood is, it's actually the... Dude, that would explain Lestrade's... The, the thud she heard. Dude. But I don't know what else I'm supposed to glean from this. Maybe I'm supposed to go inside and look up? I could try that, I suppose. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay. Dude, it's right over it. For real. Look at that. Why did why did that thought never even cross my mind? I I don't know if we're supposed to find like any actual like tangible evidence in here, but it looks like it'll stay open for a bit. Let's just press this last statement, I suppose. You're so sure the victim fell through the skylight was your proof! Well, the omnibus? Proof. That's right, I demand to hear it, sonny. We came here to say what we saw. I tell you, not for this. I don't want to go to jail. But you call us both shizers? Brain us as criminals? That there's criminals, sonny. You call us liars? That's what he means. Accuse us of doing it? In the Omnibus? I mean, on the Omnibus? I mean, uh... It stands at the moment. Hmm? There's no hard evidence that incriminates yourselves now, is there? Oh, I believe we're in much the same position as one another here. Uh, 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 we are not, sir. We are not the same as your head. Oh, God, we is. If I don't crack this case soon, he'll crack his teeth. I don't want that. Dentists are expensive. I'd assume. Do they even exist in British? I don't know. At the time. I wonder if these two men really are involved in some way. I don't think so. I think... I'm bouncing back and forth. I think they're bystanders. I don't really know anything about them, do I? Although, by the same token, I don't know anything about Mr. McGillard either. It's hard to know how, or who to believe. I think we should try to remember it's evidence alone that can truly determine. Right, my feelings don't matter. Let's go. The evidence I need is the, the fact the omnibus opens up. And it can be only opened up from the top. Yeah. I think... I mean, I think if I just present the omnibus, right? Fact, yeah, the victim fell through the skylight. The fact that it's open and still not destroyed. I think that's enough proof. Let's go for it! Protection. Don't think we got it. Dang it. Ah, I guess I gotta go back in the bus. Frick, 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 frick! Sorry, sorry, sorry! Is that it? I see the blood. May Do I have to examine it at a specific angle? Oh, that's effed up. I th okay. Where, where's the blood? Maybe let's try it like this? Ah? Uh, no, it's not reaching the floor. Dump. Let's give him one of these. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait a minute. There's straight up... There's straight up blood on the... On the thing. Oh, 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 oh my god. I never saw that. Look at that. How do I get to that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There. What is that? No, please. Please, for the love of god. I see the blood! Oh my god, F this. I'm going inside the omnibus. 
Frick. Go, 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 go. I'm pretty sure I got it now. Yes, Norodo. A scene of a murder? Oh my god. You've been in here 400 times. There it is. Got it. Yes. It does open very wide, doesn't it? Wide enough to kick someone like you through. Certainly, Mr. Naruto. Don't call me fat, Susano. <laughs> Why someone like me? I'm trying my darndest. I started on the bus here, or the boat here, and the bus here, the omnibus. <laughs> uh, it appears my joke did not rest well. Uh, what is it? I'm sorry, I overreacted. Look, look at this. With your special eyes. <gasps> That's without question! Strawberry jam. No, it's blood! Why would there be blood stain there? Surely. It can't be unrelated to the case, can it? Well, jury's quite literally still not sure. Okay, we got Omnibus, but this time there's a blood stain on it. That's all I needed. Let's go. I was about to say, if they made us like angle the bus in a specific way, that would have been cruel. Now I'm like 95% certain. This is what we gotta say. He definitely went through that skylight, dude. We got proof. On the night in question, the victim was fatally stabbed in the stomach. And immediately afterwards, the victim's body was pushed through the skylight into the cabin below. Those are the facts. And the irrefutable proof remains clearly visible in the omnibus that stands before us today in this very courtroom. What now? Sir! The, sir! That's utterly humbug! Uh, you can't possibly have any evidence! No, no, you can't! No! I thought I farted on all of it. it! It should all be evacuated! I mean, we didn't do what I tell you! It's impossible! Irrefutable proof. Here in this courtroom. You joke. Counsel? Yes, my lord? I believe everyone appreciate a little clarification on what the frick you mean. Please, let me know. Where exactly in the omnibus of the evidence? <laughs> Don't make me do this again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure I got it, dude. God, this is actually... Man, they could not do this on the GBA. Video games sure are effing Stop cool. It. It's right there. By Jupiter. What? what uh, is, is that a bl <gasps> What? The bloodstain proves two things. First, yes? No, not you. When the incident occurred, the skylight of the omnibus was open. Uh, uh, s s s s uh, say what? And secondly, the victim was already bleeding when he fell through the opening. So yeah. It just was not me gilded. Then who was it? Why would you guys kill this dude? And so it follows. That Mr. McGilded, who was inside the enclosed cabin himself at the time, cannot possibly be guilty of this crime! Uh, uh. Uh. No, no! They actually did it? To frame McGill- I don't buy it. This is some bull. Hold it. Huh? huh? Wait, is that actually his voice? I wasn't far off, just, you know, he's definitely not from the south. But, 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 no, 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 hold on here, sir, sir, sir! The blood could have been sprayed up there when the fella stabbed him inside the cabin. You know, if we just cl we close the skylight and only found its way to that one particular spot on the skylight, ah, so I thought it would be very convenient. Oh, well. And let's keep it in mind that the uh, skylight catch can only be unfastened from the roof deck. I myself wouldn't have been able to open it now, would I? I was fast asleep inside. No! Th there's no way to know for certain, is there? If the gent really fell through the skylight, I mean. Why don't you have a good look at the floor of the cabin between the two seats, Mr. First? This is almost too con- He's too cocky, dude. I know my feelings don't matter, but I think McGill did set this up. But why incriminate yourself? It's all plain to see. There's the aftermath that shows the poor fella dropped from a high height right there, so it is. No, no. But, 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 it can't be. It's a, it's a l l lies. Huh? My fellow jury members, I think we can all agree that this is a clear proof of the defendant's innocence, can't we? 
I believe we can. Yes, sir. It's clear to me now where the filthy rubbish can be found in this courtroom. So they thought they could pull the wool over my eyes. Ugh! Those darn middle class. Always up to something. Never satisfied being the worst or the best. They just want to be both. Despicable. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Juror number three is psychotic. We already knew that, though. I won't tolerate any of the girl's carriages being sullied. Blood. I won't tolerate it. Oh, I always know that the nice gentleman who gave us the delightful part couldn't have been done such a thing. Nice people are always nice, as you know. Oh, for three, lad, everyone. One, two... Three. Objection. Thank God. Someone stop this crazy train. Jesus. A chilling performance, Mr. McGillidan. Oh, you think so? I think my accent's a little... Uh, uh, what would you be referring to there now, Lord Vinzix? You're not even from Ireland, are you? Ah! No! Hey! Uh, a blood stain on the frame of the skylight. Such evidence is null and void. Uh, why? <laughs> For one extremely simple reason. That smear of blood never existed. Uh, uh, what? It was planted? What, what are you talking about? It's there for all to see. It's certainly blood. Do you, is this an opt updated autopsy report moment? I swear to God. I personally attended Scotland Yard's investigation of the omnibus. The officers involved went over the carriage with a fine tooth comb. And he even got here. Why'd I do that? No, I can stay with absolute certainty. No such smear of blood existed in the carriage! At least not until this trial began. So someone's tampering with evidence? Then who? Uh, are, are you suggesting, Lord Van Zyx, that this stain of blood was fabricated, my lord? Yes. And while this court has been in session... Uh, I didn't do it! Well, no, Rahodo, you were up there a while messing with that skylight. You told me to! What a palaver. I must say, I didn't expect such a cruel reasoning from a prosecutor of your standing, Lord Vizix. Your taunt has no effect on me, you whelp. But I'm Magnus McGilde, a fellow known all over the capital for his fine contributions to public life. I don't take kindly to slander, and I'll fight it to the bitter end. Even if it's rolling on the tongue of the Reaper, the Bailey. Mr. McGilded, I realize that is your first appearance in court as the accused. However, I am well aware of your involvement behind the scenes in a great many affairs of dubious nature. More slander? Oh, that's not a oh, that's not good part of now, is it? You're very adept when it comes to avoiding getting your own hands dirty. And each time it happens... That's a case you're involved in, in investigating. You adapt the facts. Uh, adapt the facts? What is, what is that? I'm new here. When you wield a fortune the size of Mr. McGilded's, however ill-gotten it may be, nothing is impossible. Tamping with evidence, manipulating the scene of a crime, Bribing witnesses? Why? I toast your ability to concoct the most convenient of stories, sir. He's, I know what he's getting at. He probably made Gina do it. Dude! So... That... Oh, that would make sense. He caught her and then... But then why go after Mason? He's totally innocent! Lorenzi said this. Yes, on a door, to be sure. What is it now, Council? I don't want to defend you anymore! Uh, oh, no! We have to have proof that it was tampered with- Oh god, that's not gonna work. I think it's fair to say this does all sound like a rather 
far-fetched excuse by a desperate man. The blood of the skylight didn't exist, you say? Where did it come from? <laughs> but, uh, if yours will all less cast your minds back, it's not true that the omnibus there has been in the courtroom this entire time. How could anyone possibly put a smear of blood in it? What the world and his wife seeing? You know exactly how that happened, you dickhead. When we're all scared stiff because the smoke. Isn't that right, counsel? No, he's he. You're a liar! It's true. No, it's not. The only bus has been in full view the entire time, but the course had the court had recessed. You can't forget, Naruto. My learned friend. Listen to the commentator for once. I think he's onto something. <laughs> as unbelievable as it may be. Here's to hearing your opinion on this matter. In your own words. The way you said that made me... Th do you think I'm a plagiarist? What the... Okay. But as you wish. Could someone have tampered with the Omnibus during this trial? If you're asking me, I think. It's possible. Just saying. This is... Dude, McGill, it's so fishy. Oh... As a defense lawyer, it's my job to advocate for the defense as best as I can. But still, I feel as though there's something even more important at stake here. Exactly, dude. There's no evidence to suggest the defendant did as my learned friend suggests. However, in terms of having the opportunity to carry out the alleged tampering, there is one possibility. Uh, oh boy, what is you doing? You're really bad at this, my guy. Explain. Fast. Do it! Boy, speak up! <laughs> yes, there is! It seems my learned Nipponese friend has no intention of running from this deceit. Deceit? What? I'm sure everyone still remembers clearly the recess that we were forced to take. As a result of the smoke grenade fired by the witness currently in the stand, Miss Gina Lestrade. That had a purpose, dude. She wasn't afraid. McGilda was gonna rat her out. This was a part of their plan. What is going on? Be careful, Narodo. Don't breathe it in. This is the bad restraint. I mean, okay. Bailiff, don't let the accused escape. Secure. <coughs> I'm out here, y'all. Every man for himself. Later, Tatus. I was just kidding, by the way. I, 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 I want everyone to leave. The courtroom is full of smoke. And everyone was thrown into confusion. All of us were made to leave this chamber. In that brief interval, under the veil of smoke, in all the chaos, it could have been possible to seal the inside the omnibus. Yo, that would explain the missing stuff too. But was that done then? I don't even know. What's hey? What's in the straw's bag? Are you wise? What? <laughs> What are you doing? What, what are you trying to pull, you, you, you rotten, feckless gouger? Feckless g gouger? I got, I got freckle on my, like, my left shoulder. It's not big. You're supposed to be defending me! You have no... What? There's a wicked plot! There's a plot to undermine me, so it is. Whatever you think this is, it changes nothing. The facts are the same. It could have happened after this court was evacuated earlier. As a result of the smoke grenade, a number of inconsistencies materialized in relation to the omnibus. In inconsistencies? Uh, what? He's gonna talk about the missing stuff. Let's start with the storage compartment underneath the rear passenger seat. <laughs> What's up with that? When the police investigated the omnibus, this compartment was full of the driver's items. And, secondly, we have the smear of blood on the edge of the skylight. As I've said, this was not present at the start of the trial this morning. <laughs> the way I speak with, like, Zeke's, it's just like a roller coaster. And then I went to the market to get corn dog. Well, did you get one for me? If not, I don't want to hear it. Unfortunately, Lord Banzix, no one's able to corroborate your claims. That's not... 
I remember Naruhodo's comment about it being full of stuff. It wasn't... Oh God, this is going to like actually mess with me. Maybe it wasn't actually visible, but I remember Naruhodo's comment saying it's full of bullcrap. Dude, when the omnibus was first wheeled out, both the storage compartment and the skylight were shut. That is true. Accordingly, I'm afraid to say, but if we can't establish any for certainty, this evidence result of tampering or not. Indeed, my lord. No doubt there was not a single person who saw fit to verify such things. Uh, how unfortunate. W what do you think? Hello, Bella? What is our Mr. Sato? Um, about the omnibus. If, is there anything else unusual about it? I can't think of a third source of tampering, no. But like, oh, dude, we gotta speak up. Like, th this is obstructing justice. Legit, that's after up. I mean, no duh, but like, you get what I'm trying to say. I, for one, was a key witness in seeing the, like, I, dude, we gotta say that. My Lord. Oh yeah, what's up? You got a corn dog for me? Huh? There's one further inconsistency. A mark that surely could not have been present at the start of the trial. A mark? What, boy? What you talking about? Ah, what the devil's that? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? What's you doing? I, if you dare to betray me, you little maggot, you better start watching your bag every day and every night. <gasps> you be quiet. Silence for Gilded! The court awaits the defense's clarification. Oh, God, you scary. <laughs> I don't know if I could get a vampire. <laughs> this trial keeps swinging one way and the end the other. I have no idea what's the truth and what's deception. Yeah, it's like a third chapter, Jesus. What am I supposed to believe here? I shall ask you to elaborate. Where exactly is this alleged mark? Alleged mark? A mark that shouldn't be there. I straight up don't see it. Am I going crazy? I... I don't have a lot of HP to be messing around. Um. A legend mark that appeared at some point during the trial. It's. Uh, is this only visible? Yeah, no, that's only visible when it's like open. Or, wait, is that the truth? I don't know. I mean, I feel. Ugh, I didn't check inside the omnibus mid recess. I'm also at fault here. But dude, I just got. Ugh. It wouldn't be something like. It'd be something readily visible to a metagame for a second here, right? Let's just. Let's just go with that. Yeah. I. I think it is this. I have to. I have to agree with him. I. Think. It must be this mark here. Uh. If you mean the mark of sweat around your collar, that has certainly gained prominence over the course of the proceeding. Yeah, no kidding. Boy, we already been over this. Why are you trying to steal Miss Van Zeek's thunder? That's messed up. Penalty. It, uh, it's a cold sweat, my lord. I'm so sorry. We're so close now, Rhoda. Is there something Lord Zeke appears not to have noticed? That's the correct answer. Okay. Keeping it pretty simple. No, I'm... So I have to ask you to elaborate one more time. I... I don't know! I truly don't know. God, I'm actually freaking out. I'm afraid to click inside of here. Could it be this? No, this had to be here. Now I don't remember. This trial's so long. Okay. I'm 50-50 on this. Or... Uh, that's all I got! I don't know! Didn't mention this technically yet. Am I really gonna get down to my last badge? Uh, here we go. If we consider that the victim fell through the skylight onto the floor of the cabin, if you were certainly expect to find signs of blood where he landed. So why wouldn't it like go other places? But as I recall, this blood stain on the cabin floor was not there when the omnibus was first brought in the courtroom. Uh, it wasn't? My god, I don't even remember. Huh. Well, shoot. Yeah, I do believe you might be right about that. Hmm. Well said. 
<laughs> Although as advocate for the defense, one might say that was a very careless slip of the tongue. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I can't be out lying here on the stand. I believe that blood stain on the floor is a decisive piece of evidence that I would like to collect, please. But the question is whether the evidence is genuine and whether it was unlawfully fabricated by someone. I feel compelled to admit that there's at least a possibility the evidence is fake. Huh? Uh, no, the, what? Now I'm confused. What's going on here? Uh... Dude, I'm, I'm sure you're watching at home and you- What? Huh? <laughs> this trial is all right! Uh, Mr. McGilded? You sound like Golem. And I knew you were a Tolkien fan. I've done everything I've possibly can to operate with the court, but it, it, it's all over now. Uh, but, but you're, you're the defendant. Why? Yes, it's over, I tell you. Jeez. We actually turning into gold. A memory. Recollection. What people think they saw is all a nonsense. Facts are what counts. And the fact is that blood state is there now. Well, uh... And over the course of this disp trial, long and extremely torn out has it been, I split up in brevity, fellas. The good for nothing reaper, the baby, split up beside any decisive evidence at all, at all. Or is nobody talking about that? <laughs> I'm a scandal, I sorry I am. I thought better, you Lord Ziggs. Well, my lord... Uh, uh, I, I must concur with the defendant. The unaffirmed recollections of a individual cannot stand as evidence, I'm afraid. At this moment in time, the particular bloodstain in question is very much in existence. In the absence of many credible method by which to prove its alleged previous non-existence, I, I don't know. I regret to say it would be improper for this trial to continue. No, I can get him. No, 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 no. Your lordship, you can't be serious! Lord Van Zeeks, what's your position? <clears throat> Zeeks, wake up! Uh, yeah, yes. The prosecution, my lord, has no further witnesses or evidence to present. You're joking! You're not gonna do it? You lazy bum! The, the blood stain there doesn't even make sense! If he fell f through the floor, was there blood on his back? There wasn't. The blood stain doesn't make any sense. Think. Think. It's in his stomach. If he fell. Oh. How would the blood get like that? Think about it. If he was stabbed, then fell through, right? He would land either on the knife or his back. And the blood wouldn't get, get on the floor in that case, bro. Use your brains! In that case, I believe we explored every possibility in the avenue and matter. To proceed with my education, I reckon. As a formality, I am, of course, obliged to confirm with the defense first. Oh, thank God! A formality! Woohoo! I love those! As things stand at the moment, it would seem that Mr. McGill would be not found guilty. I can't let that happen. No! Which you mean, we've won. No! <laughs> Is that really the right outcome? Is it really alright for the trial to come to an end now? With all the unexplained inconsistencies? It's not! Counsel for the defense are closing statement. And please keep the volume down. You kind of. <laughs> now, come on. Chill out, chill out. I can do this. Yes, my lord. The defense believes. F it, dude! I don't give a frick! He's guilty of sin, bruh! I am here in the courtroom today to advocate for the defense of my client. Mr. McGilded. However, at this moment in time, I cannot in all good conscience attest to fully defending the defense's innocence. What? What are you saying? Are you... Uh, uh, you don't... You mean you don't want to implicate the innocent people? Wow. Color me, you look shocked. Wow. Without any question, there is no conclusive evidence to prove the defense is guilty. But... There is also no conclusive evidence to prove that he is innocent. You you can't you can't do that. That's not good 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 gracious me. What? 
This is unheard of. Dude, just take the dub. Why do you gotta complain? You won. He he's DQ'd. This is un unprecedented behavior and unexpected. A defense lawyer call calling the accused innocence and a quest. Are you out your mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a grand decision to appoint you as my lawyer. It was a grand decision. Huh? Why? I must say, I didn't expect quite such an excited spectacle at the end there, but still, he'll uh, have this for your troubles. D I don't need your charity, dickwad. Your job is done, fella. And some fine work you've done, so you have. What do you mean? He's just as the right honorable gentleman, so subsequently put it for The trial can't go anymore. Lucky me. <laughs> and your closing statement there was, how do we put it, nothing but more than a formality. No. Come on. I can still get you. But I'm the defense lawyer. No! <laughs> We're guilty out! Oh, good heavens. I, I really don't know what to make of all of this. Well, the evidence said genuine was a fake. I don't even know why. His lordship would be fuming. And then slightly rubbish should be disposed of promptly, as I said. Wait till my blog hears about this. Ah, stinker runs are always guilty of something. And that burglar there. She's guilty of something, too. And I'm starting to suspect my fellow jurors. Uh, mark my words. Granny, you're to something. I feel terribly ashamed that I ever doubted that lovely man who gave us that lovely park. Oh my god, stop! Just listen! Now that the proceedings have unfolded this way, uh, I'm compelled to declare a premature end of the trial. Furthermore, the court must accept the defense's plea. <laughs> this is effed up. The bad guy w won? I thank you kindly, my lord. Come on, you gotta give us a retrial or something. I uh, hereby pronounce the verdict of this court. No, cut it out, cut it out! You gotta listen to the jury! We, we still haven't determined the plus the omnibus is genuine or not! Please! We don't know if their witnesses are telling the truth or a pack of lies! We have no idea about the truth. I don't like your tone. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna talk to Zeke's instead. Hey, buddy. My lord. The case made by the prosecution was flawed, plain and simple. I mean, anybody could tell that. If indeed the omnibus presented as evidence was tampered with, the prosecution is at fault for allowing such a disgraceful perversion of justice to take place in the goddamn first place. My sincerest apologies, my lord. Objection! It, no, you can't count for everything! Wait! When we, we're evacuated from the courtroom, Lord Vincent ordered the evidence to be secured! I'm afraid the prosecution cannot shun responsibility in this matter. That's so unfair! Yeah, no can't took the words out of my mouth! The culpability of the defense has not, at the present time, been established by the court. Consequently, the juror will not be required to proffer judgment. Uh, uh, what? Uh, I want to do so badly. I guess that's just how it is. Sometimes justice ain't just. <laughs> this is stupid. Well, Lord Van Zeex, it's been a pleasure, so it has. As for you, my dear fella, I couldn't have asked for a better defense. <laughs> <gasps> do, do, do you mean to tell me it's all been a, a, a grand waste of time? It is the law of the land, my good man. You really should have invaded my ancestors if you didn't like it. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to pursue this matter further, you can always go ahead and try to change the laws. Magnus von Gilded. Uh, oh, yeah, yes. Good grief. You you have more to say to me, have you? I said I was just trying to say goodbye. Just one thing. A warning. This is far from over. <laughs> well, something to be looking forward to then. <laughs> 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 
maniacal laughter aside, uh, hereby pronounce the defendant, Mr. Magnus Mongeldi, uh, he's not guilty! Woo! Buddy! No one's applauding. That's, well, this is kind of awkward. I got the fireworks, and no. I thought somebody would be happy, other than McGill. Do the British suck, or is it just me? I, I can't believe it. This is an outrage. They should examine the evidence more. Mommy, I need to, please, I need to cure for my prog, though. It's making me sound like a, a prog. <laughs> I'm just actually PO'd, bruh. This is dumb. What a middle finger. I'm sorry. With the courtroom in a pandemonium for the first, for the second time that day, the, d the judge delivered his verdict, and my first ever trial in Great Britain came to an abrupt end, with the defendant being found not guilty. Ostensibly a victory for us. What a slap in the face. God. I'm just... I'm sorry. I did not see that coming. I thought it was turnabout time, baby. Play the music. This is more with Okay. <sighs> that certainly was a long trial. Yeah. Oh boy, it was. Your first ever trial on foreign soil. And your first victory. It was a wonderful performance. I'm glad you think so. My heartfelt congratulations. And to you, Mrs. Sato. Thank you for your assistance. I suppose we should be happy? <laughs> Not McGilded, thugs are coming for us, bro! Come on! The trouble is, we're still completely in the dark about what actually happened. Well, you didn't have enough time. But isn't it wrong? I mean, who was actually responsible for Mr. Mason's death? We don't even know! The sole aim of the defense is to obtain a verdict that exonerates the defendant. You carried out your duty to perfection. Aye, that you did. <laughs> Mr. McGilded. Uh, and you? Huh? Well, it seems the stories are true. Uh, don't make this a weird thing about us being Japanese. About the six enormous fireworks, they do be letting off in the verdicts and not guilty. I'm sure you must have seen them now. Spectacular, wouldn't you say? Also, kind of a fire hazard. Uh, yeah, they were cool, I like, suppose. I heard it was a sight to behold. I to be sure it was. And I get to thank you, I suppose. Having an opportunity to see it. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I'm not sure I really did anything. What on earth are you saying, fella? Oh, how did I walk out there, free man? I don't think it was much thanks to me as down to your planning and a certain Gina's help. You're a straight talking fella, ain't ya? I must say, you had me astray at the head there once or more, twice, eh? But you're young and headstrong! <laughs> Is what under the bridge? I doubt you're a man of your word. Congratulations, Mr. McGilded, on having your name cleared. Nothing's resolved. Oh, we're just back to square one. I, mean, I guess we had to. Poor Mason, bro. There's only one thing that matters to me. Really? I. They all seem that I didn't do this odious and obstinate indeed. Tis grand, is it not? I guess for you, yeah. Now the fellas of Scotland Yard can take matters in hand and sort out any wee details. They see it for what it is. They'll get the truth. Was this all just... No. So they stop thinking he's a crook? I've absolute faith in them, so I have. Well, the ones that paid off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I do be proven a good number of their wages with all the taxes I pay. 
This is criminal. That's not funny at all. I'm so sick to my core. So then, was we agreed beforehand? One thousand guineas for your troubles. No. I couldn't possibly accept that much. Please. Are you be waste a humble paper are you from the east? Well, well, if you insist. I have this. Still and all, be reserve of a board. Mr. McGilded. Huh? The bailiff? Everything is ready, sir. If you'd like to follow me to the courtroom. What? Huh? What's going on? What's this, officer? This sooner than I was led to believe. Hope it's not inconvenient, sir. There are some changes to the schedule. Ah, well, I must be making my tracks now. Time for the inspection. Uh, inspection? They're going to examine the omnibus again, so I'm told. I asked if I could be present for it myself. Wh why would you want to do that? What, what is wrong with you? They're going to examine it again now? Why? Naturally, I'm under no obligation to take part in any of these matters now, but as an upstanding member of this here London society, I do be doing my best to help where I can. It is a gentleman's duty, so it is. <laughs> so then, fare thee well. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. What's gonna happen to Gina? I hope you have a whale of a time while you're studying here in the Great Britain. It's ever so great. For me. There he goes, a free man. Oh, 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 hello. I forgot she was here too. Oh gosh, she's so scared. Oh, no, no, you, you gotta do- Hey, I'm friendly, I'm- Oh god. Rocket launcher. Don't move. Uh... Whereas I was about to say, get a move on, she really does take forever to load that thing. <laughs> it's your fault, you let her- You let her finish your transformation! Miss Lestrade, would you, would you mind putting that down, please? A grown-up. Yeah, I am. And I ate all grown-ups. You realize, eventually, you're gonna grow up to hate yourself, right? Ah, there you are! What the? Huh? What the? This... Who... What is it? What is this?! No, do not, do not, do running off like that. <laughs> Am I like a fever dream? Why is there a little girl in Britain? I mean, that's a normal th And take him that with you as well. I was looking forward to the trial run of my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Ha! What the? Huh? She's got a girl! What? Oh, you want to play? He won't beat me. Uh oh. Can we not? Can we not do this? Uh, excuse me, who are you? Oh, good day to you. I'm well the inventor, I suppose, of that machine. You. L what? Well, normal smoke grenades are so dull. Don't you agree? White and white and more white. Ugh. So disgusting. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. If you have to be shrouded in smoke, it can at least be a pretty color. I thought to myself. You have to be shrouded in smoke at all, though? What? I... I just took my eyes off it for a moment whilst I was changing them to a different omnibus. And she pinched it, she did. Luckily, I fit it with a telegraphic beacon? What? So much for me always questioning, hey, did Dental Floss exist? Like the She's she's a time traveler! Are you the doctor I've been hearing about? A tell I have no idea what this girl's talking about. I feel like I'm having a fever dream. This is so out of left field. Anyway, you're coming with me now, back to my laboratory. But for what? To apologize, of course, silly. To my technician. But you mean you say so sorry? You must say sorry when you've done something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before. An adult? I don't listen to no adult. Oh. Come along then. Follow me or else. Holy crap. Fine if I have it your way. Oh good, you see. I knew you'd want to do the right thing in the end. I'm fairly sure. Yo, this, this song slaps though. Fairly sure that what she wants is not to get shot by that massive gun. How would you even handle the recoil from that? It blasts you to kingdom come! Even if it's just a smoke grenade! Well, we'll be leaving now then. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry for all the pests. Nah, that's cool. You, you prevented this room from getting really, really dusty. 
once. He was a lively one. And very short. Huh. Anywho. Do you think that was a major character in Arahoto? Just maybe. Do you think perhaps we ought to be on our way now, too? Yes, you're right. But... Where to? Uh, oh. We haven't had time to find a place to stay. No sooner we've arrived in London. I had to rush here. Our traveling cases are still with the bailiff, actually. We should probably get those. I was originally planning to spend today in search of lodgings. About this late in the out in the day. Afraid we may be out of luck. Don't worry, though. I have a plan. You see that couch, Norohoto? It's unoccupied. <laughs> I... If worse comes to worse, I've heard of a lovely park where we could spend the night. No, we're not going there. Please tell me you're not thinking of McGilded's Park. I know it may be a little chilly at time of the year, but our youthfulness will see us through. I ain't that young, man. What? I'm not sure about that. I think a midwinter London night will freeze a young person solid just as easy as the elderly. Oh, dear. This does not sound agreeable. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. It's auto. We, we got paid. We can just get a hotel. Maybe. I don't know. I'm starting to regret turning McGilded down. That 1,000 guineas would have paid for a lovely warm room or a mansion. And a lot of things. I don't want no d dumb, dirty money. I'll take a little bit of dumb, dirty money, but only because I have to. And so, a trial to determine my worthiness for the study tour was over by the end of our first day in London. However, as we were soon to learn, there are more trying times ahead. Just as the Reaper of the Bailey had warned, the case was far from over? Huh? Is Chapter 4 about McGilded too? No effing way. I mean, I'm, gl I'm glad we get to stay- Oh, oh. Huh? What's going on? A fire? The fire what the water. dub? Bring water, quick! McGill, did you able? Whoa. How did this happen? Is that Luigi? Oh, no, sir. By the time I got here, it was already engulfed. No one was supposed to be allowed in here before we started investigating. <gasps> what the heck? No, is Gina in there? No. Oh, good you a-hole, stop it. This there's someone in there. If they kill Gina, I will cry. Wait, no, Gina. No! Gina went with the other. Who's in there? Oh. This can't be. Oh, come on. Don't cliffhang me. Bro, what is going on? If McGilda died, I don't even want him to die. I just. Oh my god, thank the Lord. Gina went with whoever the frick that was. I'm. Oh. I gotta play more, but I gotta edit the video, but I don't wanna! Ah!